The 1997 and a half Regal is designed to be the official car of the supercharged family. It delivers the kind of performance you'd expect in a world-class sports sedan. Yet, at the same time, Regal is safe, comfortable, and roomy. It provides excellent family accommodation and reliability, and it does it with lots of style. Regal was launched in dramatic fashion last December. For the first time ever, an automotive introduction was conducted live on the World Wide Web in a specially constructed cyber cafe setting. The new Regal made its entrance on the internet literally through the stage wall. The leather jacketed driver with the cool shades was none other than Buick General Manager Ed Mertz. The totally new Regal represents a truly advanced family sedan. Just as the internet has changed the standard for communications, the Regal will set the new standard for mid-sized performance sedans. It opens a whole new world of marketing opportunity. Hi, I'm Chuck McLennan for Buick Know How. In this program, we'll cover the principal technical and service features of the 1997 and a half Regal. But first, let's take a look at this exciting new model. And for that, we take you to the 1997 Detroit International Auto Show, where the Regal attracted a lot of favorable attention. The 1997 and a half sedan is available in two models. This is the LS version. The completely restyled body has a sleek, sporty look that reflects the brand's heritage as a performance car. The performance theme is even more apparent on the GS model, which sports two-tone paint as standard. The GS is also distinguished by an all-black grille treatment and several equipment upgrades, as well as a more powerful supercharged engine. The LS grille has bright accents. The attractive headlamps are one-piece assemblies incorporating low and high beams, side markers, turn signals, and cornering lamps for improved visibility in turns. Headlamp beams are aimed by means of internal adjustable optics, so the glass lens is fixed. This allows a smooth transition between the headlamp and the body panels. For ease of servicing, the modular headlamp assemblies can be conveniently removed by releasing two plastic retaining clips. The stylish front bumper fascia is a single molded piece that contributes to Regal's smooth lines. Fog lamps are a standard safety feature on both Regal models. The lamps can be operated when the park lamps or low beams are turned on. They turn off when the headlamps are switched to high beam and when the ignition is turned off. As an additional safety feature, in daylight, the bright filaments in the amber turn signal bulbs are illuminated to function as daytime running lamps. When an ambient light sensor mounted on top of the IP senses darkness, it switches the daytime running lamp to a night mode and the headlamps and tail lamps turn on automatically. A Twilight Sentinel system is standard on both Regal models. As I mentioned, the Regal's headlamps turn on automatically when it's dark. When the ignition is turned off, Twilight Sentinel illuminates the headlamps for 90 seconds, provided the headlamp switch is in the off position. If the headlamp switch is on, or in the park lamp position, when the ignition is turned off, the Twilight Sentinel timer will not activate. I should point out, Regal's Twilight Sentinel operates a little differently than the systems in most other Buicks. The 90 second period that the lamps remain on is not adjustable, but if preferred, Twilight Sentinel can be disabled completely. To do this, close all the doors and turn the ignition to run. Press and hold the power door lock switch in the lock position. Still holding the lock switch, cycle the headlamp switch on, then off two times. Then release the door lock switch. Within 10 seconds, press and hold the door switch, this time in the unlock position. While holding the unlock switch, again, Cycle the headlamp switch on, then off two times. And release the door lock switch. 
A single chime indicates Twilight Sentinel is disabled. Two chimes indicate the function is enabled. With the new Regal, performance is not measured just in terms of horsepower and road handling ability. Although, as we'll see later, it certainly has plenty of both. One major contributor to Regal's all-around performance is the entirely new body design. It incorporates the advanced structural architecture that we've seen emerging on recent Buick models. Regal's occupants are protected by an extremely rigid safety cage with impact absorbing crush zones at the front and rear. This superior rigidity is accomplished in part by a large floor pan stamping that incorporates a central tunnel section and several cross car supporting elements. Resistance to twisting forces such as you get during cornering maneuvers is 40% greater than the 1996 Regal body. Resistance to bending is increased by 10%. The body frequency measurement for Regal is 23 hertz. Regal's A-pillars are slender and yet very strong. The thin A-pillars combine with the large flush-mounted windshield to provide excellent visibility from the driver's seat. The pillars also have internal baffles that guard against the intrusion of wind noise and water to the interior. The body side rings are produced as single piece stampings. The side ring encompasses everything from the front door hinge pillar back to the rear fender, eliminating multiple welds. In addition to providing more strength, this design allows for much more consistent build tolerances for door openings. The benefit of this for the Regal owner is a micrometer door fit that enhances the car's trim appearance. It also provides better resistance to squeaks and rattles and improves door sealing. Slim body side moldings fit into recessed sections in the door for a smoother look and consistent build quality. On the road, the Regal is a remarkably quiet car. An advanced computer-generated acoustical model enabled engineers to identify potential noise sources and take steps to eliminate them. For example, the doors have triple weather strip seals to keep out wind noise and water. One seal is attached around the perimeter of the door here. An auxiliary seal is part of the weather strip retainer on the door header. The third seal mounts to the body around the circumference of the door opening. There's also a newly designed weather strip for the door windows. When the glass is pressed tightly against the seal by the new cable drive window regulator, the weather strip forms a wink over seal along the upper edge of the window. The wink over provides a very effective barrier against noise and water intrusion. Regal also has a number of sound absorbing mats in strategic locations. There's a special fiberglass mat on the engine side of the dash and an acoustical engine cover. Acoustic damping material is used in the doors, roof, and floor panels. There is also sound insulation behind the rear seat and along the rear window shelf. Seals between the front fenders and the cowl reduce road and tire noise. The upper engine compartment support rails are baffled to reduce engine noise transmitted to the interior. There's also a rubber seal along the pinch weld flange at the rear of the engine compartment. Baffles in the engine compartment support rails and the A-pillars also reduce noise intrusion and water leaks. And double beads of urethane are applied where the lower windshield joins the body. Remote electric outside rear view mirrors are standard. The body colored mirrors are large and provide the driver with an excellent rearward field of vision. Despite the larger size, the mirror's aerodynamic shape minimizes wind noise. A fold-away feature is incorporated to limit the risk of damage to the mirrors in cramped parking situations. Regal's new rear styling further enhances the car's sporty character. A center applique that mounts to the trunk lid extends the tail lamps across the entire width of the rear body, a distinctive Buick styling cue. This rear lamp treatment permits the popular low liftover feature for easier access to the trunk. The trunk lid opens to an almost fully vertical position and is supported by gas struts. The new hinges are designed so that they do not protrude into the cargo area when the lid is closed. At 16.7 cubic feet, trunk capacity is larger than the previous Regals. Oh, and incidentally, the trunk mat is also designed to reduce the transmission of road noise to the interior. 
With its longer wheelbase and wider track, the 1997.5 Regal is considerably roomier and more comfortable than its predecessor. Let's look inside. Front headroom and shoulder room are increased, and there's a full inch of additional hip room. Regal seats benefit from the efforts of the Buick Seat Comfort Team. The team recruited people of all sizes, short and tall, to perform really extensive test drives in all seat positions. This research resulted in seats that offer maximum comfort and adjustment flexibility for a wider range of owners. For added comfort, the lap portion of the front safety belts is attached too and moves with the seats. Front bucket seats with adjustable two-way headrests are standard in all Regals. The GS comes equipped with leather seats. Power six-way seats are available, and the leather seats can be ordered with heaters. The center console, also standard, incorporates the leather-covered transmission shift lever, a storage compartment, and pop-up cup holders. A leather-wrapped steering wheel is included on both Regal models. In the rear, Regal's raised seats provide passengers with a theater-style seating position for better forward visibility. The central portion of the standard rear seat back folds down to provide an armrest and two oversized cup holders. A convenient lockable rear seat pass-through is provided for access to the trunk. An optional built-in rear child safety seat can be substituted for the pass-through. A redesigned instrument cluster has enlarged, easy-to-read analog displays and improved illumination. Two levels of cluster displays are available. This is the up-level cluster that's standard on the Regal GS and available on LS. On the GS only, the instrument cluster includes a tire pressure monitoring function. After 10 to 20 miles of normal driving, the Electronic Brake and Traction Control Module, or EBTCM, uses the ABS wheel speed sensors to monitor whether the speed of any wheel differs from the other wheels. When it detects a wheel speed difference that would indicate any tire is over or under inflated, the EBTCM sends a message to the IPC. The IPC illuminates the low tire telltale warning light in the cluster. The telltale remains lit until the ignition is turned off or the red reset switch in the IP fuse block is pressed. The fuse block is on the right side of the IP. The reset button should not be pressed until after tire pressures have been checked and corrected as necessary. Otherwise, the low tire pressure warning will not operate properly. The reset button should be used to recalibrate the system anytime tire pressures are adjusted, tires are repaired, or new tires are installed. Optional on the LS and standard on GS is a driver information center that provides the driver with readouts for instantaneous and average fuel economy, oil life monitor status, vehicle fuel range, and supercharger boost pressure on the GS only. Functions are controlled by three buttons. The EM button toggles the display between English and metric values. The mode button changes the mode being displayed and the reset button when held for one second resets the data in whichever mode is being displayed. The reset button is also used to reset the oil life monitor to 100 percent after the oil has been changed. Manual CJ3 dual comfort temp climate control with a sliding temperature control for the passenger side is standard. CJ2 Dual Automatic Comfort Temp Climate Control with push-button temperature and fan controls is available on GS. On both Regal models, the climate control system incorporates an air filter located on the passenger side of the vehicle underneath the cowl water deflector. The filter very efficiently removes contaminants from air flowing through the ventilation system. Under normal conditions, the air filter change interval is every 15,000 miles. However, in areas where there is excessive airborne contamination from dust, pollen, etc., it may be necessary to change the filter more frequently to maintain a full flow of air through the system. The new Regals are equipped with the Buick family of radios. The ULO radio with 12 FM and 6 AM station presets, automatic tone control, theft lock, and a cassette player is standard on Regal GS and available on LS. The Concert Sound 2 six-speaker system is also standard on GS. A fixed mast antenna is standard, 
and a window antenna integrated into the rear defogger is optional. Steering wheel mounted radio controls are also available. The power plant for the Regal LS is the 195 horsepower 3800 Series 2 V6, coupled with the smooth 4T60E transaxle. For the Regal GS, performance is increased to 240 horsepower by the supercharged 3800 Series 2 engine. The larger 4T65E heavy duty transaxle is used with the supercharged engine. The 4T65E has a performance shift feature that permits the driver to select a normal or performance shift pattern. In the performance mode, downshifts are more easily achieved and the transmission shifts more firmly and at higher engine speeds for lively acceleration. New shear bushing rubber mounts are used where the cradle that supports the suspension, steering and powertrain attaches to the body. The design works like a cylinder within a cylinder. When compressed vertically, the mount is very soft for improved ride and vibration isolation. The double rubber walls of the cylinders are very resistant to lateral shear movement for better handling. A new elastomeric transaxle mount combines with the low torque axis engine mounting system to provide better insulation from engine torque roll. In fact, the engine is so quiet that drivers will appreciate the starter grind protection feature that prevents the starter from engaging while the engine is running. The Delphi ABS-6 anti-lock brake system is standard on Regal and traction control is also included on both models. The electronic brake and traction control module with this unit can incorporate two levels of traction control. The LS is equipped with an enhanced traction system. Enhanced traction reacts to wheel slip during acceleration by requesting the PCM to reduce engine torque to the drive wheels. The PCM can retard ignition timing, shut off up to three fuel injectors, or upshift the transaxle. Although enhanced traction does not use the brakes as part of its anti-slip strategy, it shares the ABS wheel speed sensors and EBTCM. The Regal GS is equipped with a full range traction control system that combines the engine torque reduction strategy of enhanced traction with braking action that is controlled by the EBTCM. For full range traction control, an add-on hydraulic modulator and motor pack assembly is used. It contains two bi-directional motors and two ball screw driven pistons, similar to those used in the ABS-6 motor pack assembly. A low track warning light comes on to indicate when either traction control system is limiting wheel slip. Both systems have a button that allows the Regal driver to turn traction control on and off. An amber colored track off indicator is illuminated to remind the driver that the system is deactivated. The track off warning also illuminates if the EBTCM self-diagnostics detect a malfunction in the system. The EBTCM also contains the logic control for the magnetic variable effort power steering system, which provides more or less steering assist proportional to the car's speed. The 1997.5 Regal's four-wheel independent suspension is completely redesigned for improved ride and handling characteristics and better isolation from road noise and harshness. The shape of the lower control arms has been changed from the typical A-shape to a new and lighter L-shaped design. It's similar to the control arm introduced on the 1995 Riviera suspension. With this new shape, the rear bushing that secures the control arm to the frame is moved forward and closer to the center of the wheel. This provides more lateral stiffness for better handling feel. This horizontally mounted rubber bushing is also stiffer and larger in diameter to maximize lateral support. The bushing is part of the control arm assembly and is not serviced separately. As on Riviera and the latest Park Avenue, the front control arm bushing is a vertically mounted design. In contrast to the rear bushing, it is made from a very soft rubber that effectively cushions road bumps. The front stabilizer bar is tubular in section with a 30 millimeter diameter. The stabilizer bar mounts at the cradle and at the control arms are revised to reduce friction and improve ride. The steering knuckle is a weight saving machined aluminum casting. Because it's made from aluminum, you should never use a hammer when removing items attached to it.
such as the ABS sensor bracket, the strut damper, outer tie rod, or the control arm ball stud. For easier disassembly, these steel components are attached to the knuckle with tapered studs that are also coated to prevent corrosion. Use only the recommended pulling tools to avoid damaging the knuckle. For the same reason, it's also important to use the torque values specified in the service manual. Refer to the service bulletin for more suspension service information. The Regal does not use Dynaride struts. Both the FE2 struts on Regal LS and the firmer FE3 struts on GS models use an internal blow-off valve system. This provides damping action proportional to road surface input. On the Regal, the variable rate coil springs are also similar to Riviera's. They are formed from a high tensile micro alloy. This allows for a low mass design that reduces the weight of each spring by two pounds. One important thing to note is that the coil springs are covered with an epoxy coating material that protects the steel against corrosion. When handling springs, ensure this coating is not chipped or scratched. Otherwise, corrosion can attack the steel and prematurely weaken the spring. The length of the steering rack is increased from 630 millimeters on the 1996 Regal to 652 millimeters. The rack is longer to accommodate the wider track provided by Regal's new suspension geometry. The car's turning radius is 36.6 feet, 0.1 feet better than the 1996 Regal and better than the competitors in its class. The wider track provides more stable handling in turns and allows for the larger body with more interior space. Also, the wide stance gives the sedan a low road-hugging profile that complements Regal's sporty performance. Regal's rear suspension also incorporates many refinements designed to isolate the driver from road-induced noise and vibrations. The suspension cross-member support is mounted to the body with rubber isolation mounts. Those of you who are familiar with the previous Regal's rear suspension will notice that the monoleaf transverse spring and rubber auxiliary springs are not used. Instead, the new coilover tri-link design uses variable rate coil springs and struts, similar to those used on the front suspension. Parallel tubular rods, one front and one rear, provide two lateral links. When large road hazards are encountered, these links allow the suspension to deflect rearward while maintaining the wheel's lateral position to minimize the toe-in effect that can be caused by road bumps. The third link is provided by the trailing arm that controls the fore and aft position of the wheel. A direct acting stabilizer bar is attached to the suspension support. Low friction drop links attach the stabilizer bar to the struts. The stabilizer bar on the base LS rear suspension is made from solid 14 millimeter diameter stock. The firmer GS suspension uses a larger 17.3 millimeter diameter tubular bar. All Regals are equipped with four-wheel disc brakes. The new larger front rotors have a higher thermal capacity that reduces noise and fade potential and promotes longer lining life. All rotors are coated with DO9 coating that reduces corrosion. The rear rotor is a solid cast iron disc incorporating a drum and hat parking brake design. It is so named because the hub or hat portion of the rear rotor acts like the drum in a conventional rear brake system. The brake shoes and linings and the actuator are mounted with a backing plate on the rear wheel hub. Shoe and lining adjustments are performed in the same manner as for regular rear drum brakes. One thing though, when refinishing rear rotors, do not refinish the parking brake drum because that will reduce parking brake performance. For service personnel, probably the most significant electrical component on the 1997.5 Regal is the Body Control Module, or BCM. Located on a bracket in the IP to the left of the steering column, the BCM controls and interacts with many of Regal's electrical functions. In fact, so many functions are controlled by or through the BCM, it's important that service technicians become familiar with its operation as well as its self-diagnostic features. For example, the BCM incorporates all of the reminder and warning chimes that were formerly associated with the mall module. 
The BCM is the controller for interior illumination functions, including theater dimming and delayed illumination, as well as battery rundown protection. Door locking functions, such as automatic door lock and delayed locking, are also controlled by the BCM. So is remote function actuation, or RFA, that provides feedback when doors are unlocked or locked using the remote transmitter. The BCM also controls a number of what are referred to in the service manual as miscellaneous functions. These include such things as the passkey vehicle anti-theft system, retained accessory power, and the 4T65E transaxle's performance shift function. The BCM is also capable of communicating with other systems to control functions that are not directly wired to or controlled by it. The BCM shares information with other systems on the Regal's Class II serial data line. These are the PCM, or Powertrain Control Module, the Instrument Panel Cluster, the Heating and Air Conditioning Controller, and the Electronic Brake and Traction Control Module. The BCM performs self-diagnostic functions and sets diagnostic trouble codes when a fault is detected. And since the BCM transmits on the Class II data line, you can read DTCs and perform other diagnostic functions with a Tech 2 scan tool. You can use the Tech 2 to display the status of the BCM inputs. For example, the door jam switch input should read off when the door is closed and on when the door is opened. You can use this feature to check that the BCM is receiving the proper input signals. You can also use the Tech 2 to cycle BCM outputs and check whether a BCM command is being sent. The BCM is the controller for the Regal's driver personalization options, and these can also be customized using the Tech 2. For instance, the automatic door locks can be programmed to operate in any of the four available modes. The delayed locking feature can be enabled or disabled. As you may recall, when it is activated, delayed locking prevents the doors from locking until five seconds after the last door is closed. When the power door lock switch is pressed with the door open and the key out of the ignition, three chimes sound to signal that the delayed locking function is activated. The delay allows time to open doors and retrieve items from the car without having to lock the doors a second time. Regals are shipped from the factory with delayed locking activated. The Tech 2 can also be used to customize remote function verification for both the lock and the unlock modes. For instance, you might have just the headlamps flash for unlock and the horn chirp for lock. In the factory mode, the headlamps flash and the horn chirps for both lock and unlock modes. Finally, you can use the Tech 2 to disable and enable the Twilight Sentinel delayed headlamp function an alternative to the manual method we saw earlier in the program. The other personalization features can also be customized manually. You'll find full instructions in the Know-How Technician's Manual. Personalized settings stored in memory are not affected by a loss of battery power. These Convenience Plus personalization features add an extra level of enjoyment to the Regal ownership experience. I think, like the high-performance Regals of the past, the 1997 and a half Regal is clearly bound to be a winner in its class.